don't do it. Just please do not take the Autostrada down through Tuscany. You'd regret missing out on one of the loveliest roads to take a blast along, the glorious Chianti Road that runs from Florence to Siena on the SS222. Climbing gradually away from the Arno River Valley, you roll south through a mix of olive groves, vineyards and small villages. The roads become increasingly twisted as you climb through the region on ultra-smooth tarmac. Reaching Castellina, we chose to detour west along the SS429 to the Manhattan of the Middle Ages, San Gimignano. But alternatively, you could just head straight on to Siena. We were heading south from the lakes, and if you're on your way to Tuscany, why not take in one of the many car museums on your way? Take your pick from Ferrari, Lamborghini and Maserati before you reach Florence. Then recharge your batteries, soaking up the food, art, architecture. Oh, and yes, did I mention the food? This is just a part of the queue to buy a famous porchetta sandwich. Absolutely divine. <laughs> And the next morning, ideally on a quiet Sunday when people are either sleeping or in church, break out of the city and head south for a drive that truly feeds the soul.
wall. see why this drive is absolutely in my top three. Why? Smooth roads, sinuous bends and short straights, warm weather and little traffic to interrupt the fun. It's a smile factory from start to finish. We tour San Gimignano before heading into Perugia. It's a fascinating diversion on your way south. Next time we begin the journey home, stopping off in Pisa and the Cinque Terre, no cars allowed, before hitting Monaco, blasting the route Napoleon and holding on for the spectacular but relatively unknown to Brits, Verdon Gorge. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any favourite roads to take when crossing Europe, I'd love to hear about them.